G'day mates, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll show you how to upload your ResMed AirSense 10 SD card data directly to your iPhone using our brand new Sleep HQ iOS app and we'll do it in under a minute. Now before we get started, for those new to the channel you might be thinking, but Nico, I've already got the My Air app and I get the data automatically. Why would I be bothered with all of this? Well, what My Air provides is what's called a summary data. Okay, and on the SD card, we have the high detailed information. You can think of it like opening up a newspaper and just having the headlines. That's what ResMed provides, yeah? Just the basic summary. Whereas we provide the full story, hey? All the information, the detailed information. And that's really, really useful if you want to become a pro at CPAP therapy and really improve your sleep. All right, enough waffle, let's get started. So what you'll need is an SD card. Now many of you might not even know that a CPAP machine has an SD card, but if you don't have one, in the AirSense 10, just goes this little flap here that says SD. That's a good giveaway. Open up the flap and it's normally just sitting in here. and you just push it in, it pops out, and away you go. And if you don't have one, they're so cheap these days, 32 gigabytes or below, pick one up on Amazon, 10 bucks, whatever it is. And then put it in your CPAP machine, start using it, and after a few days, you can just pull it out and upload it. The next thing you'll need is a way to connect the SD card to your iPhone or iPad. And these here are called on-the-go card readers. And basically, you just put the SD card in the top, and then you connect this end to your iPhone or your iPad. Just be careful that you get one suitable for your device. This here is a Lightning, but some iPads now have a USB-C. I think some iPhones now have a USB-C also. Now, if you have a Fisher & Paykel device, like a Sleep Style, they don't have an SD card they have this info USB stick. So you'll need to order a on-the-go USB card reader. And now for the upload challenge, and what a challenge it will be. I have possibly the slowest internet connection in the world. I live in the middle of whoop whoop, but we'll give it a go. On your marks, get set, and we're off. OTG card reader, SD card in, and then just plug it into your iPhone or your iPad. Open up the Sleep HQ iOS app, and then down the bottom, click Imports. Step one, select your machine. I've already selected the AirSense 10 here. You can change it if you need to. Number two is Add Files. This is where we'll select our SD card files. So click Select Files. This will open up the Files app on your iPhone or iPad, and then you just need to locate to where your SD card is. You can see here mine, it says Uncle Nico. So just go to browse, click your SD card, and then come up to the top where it says open. That's it. Now it's analyzing. We're scanning the files you selected to see what has already been uploaded to Sleep HQ. That's how smart the system is. So I've selected all the files here. You can see we have green ticks next to each of the files and folders on the SD card and then just come down here to begin upload. And that's it. You can see now it says adding files. And we're done. And now we can come across to the dashboard and check out all the data. Here it is here. All right, so we've got some summary data up the top here, the apnea, hypopnea index, daily usage and so on. But if you scroll down, we get some high detail data. Here it is, the breathing. All right, we can see two hypopnea flags here. I can just click and drag and I can zoom in and we can see right here, how cool is this? Hey, look at this. So we've got our breathing here. You can see a hypopnea flag. This is this little purple vertical line here with the H, hypopnea, changing the breathing. And you can also see that woke the patient up or user up out of sleep. We've got the sleep stage data here coming in from the Apple Watch. We've got core sleep, and look at that. 
we've got this yellow bar, which is awake. So hypopnea, wake up out of sleep. Boom, there we go. And we can also see the pressure increasing there as well. Now, depending on how much data you have on the SD card, will depend on how long it takes for the upload. If it's your very first upload and you've got gigabytes, years worth of data on the SD card, it can take like 30 minutes. But if you're uploading a week's worth of data like I just did then, you can see it's nice and quick, only takes a few seconds and away you go. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Merry Christmas to you all and I'll see you soon, cheers.